Little hermit crab. What's up, dude? Oh, just got fucking nailed. Got him. Smaller one than the last first striper at a new spot. <sighs> well, thanks, horseshoe crab. You just made me miss a fish. Hey, hey, hey. Look, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's trying to do it with my toe. What's up, Spanx? Welcome to another fishing adventure with Trout Spankins. In this morning's episode, I'm gonna be fishing a beach I've never fished before, never even seen in my life. Papa Spankins used to fish here back in the day. He's caught some pretty nice fish here, so I figure might as well give it a try. It is 7.59 in the morning. High tide at this beach is gonna be at 10.30, so I'll be fishing the last two and a half hours of the incoming tide and possibly the first hour or two of the outgoing tide. I'm gonna start off throwing that fresh water plug that I modified into a salt water plug. I'm gonna be throwing it on my nine foot custom surf rod with the Daiwa BG 5000. Like I said, never fished this beach before. I have no idea what I'm getting into, so I'm not really gonna do too much talking. I'm gonna start off on top water, and if that don't work, try out some other stuff. Clear skies, a little windy, not very windy. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees today, so it's gonna be a hot one. Figured to get out here early, try to get on an early morning bite before uh, my skin melts off. Anyway, let's get into it. Try a couple casts right here, I guess for making the way down. Horseshoe crab right here. Watch out, Mr. Horseshoe crab. What you doing? You trying to eat that hermit crab? He sure is running from you. Hermit crab. What's up, dude? Holy shit, dude. that dude paying attention to a fucking hermit crab and I got snagged on a goddamn buoy dude. well looks like I'm about to lose my fucking lure all right well like a dickhead lost my good lure in the friggin buoy down there because I was too busy paying attention to a hermit crab <sighs> All right, keep fishing. Try a few casts here. Some nice rocks and stuff. Really wish I had my good lure. Oh, something just swelled. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, if I had my good lure, I probably could have caught that fish. <laughs> I almost feel like that swirl wasn't even a swirl of interest. It was more like a swirl of denial. Like the striper scoffing at my lure like, huh, nope, that ain't the Mag Dog 150. Sorry, pal. Oh, just got fucking nailed. Of course, my dingus ass wasn't really paying attention and kind of got excited and tried to set the hook. Not supposed to set the hook. Just supposed to let him take it. That's a good sign, though. I got a hit. At least I know they will hit this lure. It's not completely inept. Oh my god. <laughs> the oinks. Second hit that I porked the pooch on. Got 
them. Oh man, lost them. Smaller one than the last one I hooked, but it's okay, I guess. First striper at a new spot. Little duder, still pretty cool though. It's fine. Let's see, told ya. <laughs> first striper of the morning. Wish I would have landed that first one because it was uh, quite a bit bigger than that one. But hey. Once again, not as big as the first one that hit at it, but that's okay, I guess. <laughs> a little bit better than the uh, first one, though. Let's put it on a Oh, there he goes. All right, that was an easy release. Okay. Oh, you son of a right, fish off this little point here. I mean, he's not a terrible size one, but definitely not as big as the one I missed. <laughs> not a terrible little fish. I think he'll be okay. going to be the biggest one of the year for me. All right, you guys, cool deal. Biggest striper of the day, probably the biggest striper of the year. I'd say it's at least maybe 28 inches. All right, well, not big enough to keep, but easily the biggest striper I've caught this year. 27 inches long. Swims another day. And I have another horseshoe crab trying to mate with my boot. Dude, calm yourself down. Control yourself. He's still trying to bang my boot. <sighs> well, thanks, horseshoe crab. You just made me miss a fish. And he's still on my boot. He's definitely trying to pork my boot. Kind of weird. I can feel him clacking up against my toe. Dude, 
This is the weirdest thing ever. I've got a horseshoe crab having sex with my boot while I'm trying to catch stripers. Dude, I can feel him bumping uglies with my toe. Hey, hey, hey. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's trying to do it with my toe. What's wrong with you, man? Oh, I flipped him over by accident. There you go, bub. <laughs> I think... I think he gets the point now. No means no. Isn't that what they call like a centipede? It's like a horseshoe crab centipede. Pretty raunchy stuff. All right, Spanx. Well, we worked our way all the way down this rocky beach to that point. Caught four stripers on top water. Biggest one was about 27 inches, not quite slot size. Yeah, so I figure I'd work my way back down towards the car and try to spank some more back along the beach. Should be high tide in about 20 minutes, so let's keep it going. Man, it's freaking hot out. I ain't even hit 90 yet. <laughs> them into hitting it. <laughs> Number five of the day. Uh, once again, not a keeper hook. Also not hooked in the mouth. Got one. Hopefully I can keep this one friggin' pinned. <laughs> that would be nice. That would be nice. Come on, boy. Get your ass in here. That's a decent one. That is not a terrible one. Killing this hoagie boy. I'll tell you what, it ain't a bad one. Not a bad one. All right, Spanx, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button and think about subscribing. So overall, pretty good morning fishing a beach that I've never been to before. Spanked five, six stripers, maybe more. Lost the biggest ones. Lost my lucky lure. Was ready to wrap it up and go home, but luckily they were willing to hit a substitute. I do not, I honestly do not remember the name of this lure. I bought it like a year and a half ago. It's made by Hoagie. It's a walking bait, kind of like a spook type deal. Works pretty good. To be honest, I catch way more fish on the freshwater lure with a subtle knocker in it. This one has more of a BB with a loud rattle. Bass on this beach didn't seem to mind. Even hooked into a couple of decent ones and lost them. But yeah, I mean, six, seven stripers in, I don't know, like an hour and a half, two hours, fishing a beach that I've never fished before. Had a bunch of missed hits and lost a couple of nice fish so pretty good action for one morning anyways hope to see you on the next one keep on spanking them